Hello there guys and welcome to this video uh, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find out your internal and external IP address. Okay then, so uh, We'll go with external first, so this is your IP address that your ISP has given you. This is basically, uh, each internet line has one. Uh, and this is just a series of numbers that tells the internet uh, where you are. Okay, so, um, first thing to do, I'm using Windows XP on this, but the method is exactly the same on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Okay, and you go start Internet Explorer, and we need to type in what's my IP, and it'll say your public IP address is whatever. Now I've blurred that out because uh, I'm not showing you mine, but that is where your IP address will be. You can look on the um, IP address uh, what's my IP org, and it will show you show you your IP address there. Okay, so. Next thing to find out is the internal IP address. Uh, this is basically just an IP address on your local network, network so that will be between your uh, computers and devices only. So the method basically goes the same um, for the way the IPs work. Um, each each one has a each computer each device has an, its own IP address, uh, just like on the internet each internet line has its own IP address. Okay, so to find out your internal IP address, click on start and then we can click on run and where it says open you need to type in CMD that stands for command prompt so go ahead and press enter, it may come up if you're running Windows 7 uh, saying do you want to allow this application to, to run and you'll click yes, it'll come up in the middle somewhere and it'll say C documents settings or C users and then your username. Uh, what you want to type in is ipconfig like that and press enter and from there it will come up if you have multiple uh, Ethernet adapters then it, it will show all of them so on this machine just for test purposes I've just uh, given you the Ethernet adapter local area connection and that says there IP address 10.0.0.5 now that's the IP address of this machine on this network. It could vary. It could um, you could end up with an IP address uh, of either ten dots and then numbers after that, or it could be one nine two dot one six eight dot and then there's some numbers after that. So that could be one two one six eight dot one dot and then whatever number your uh, machine has picked up off its DHCP server. Uh, okay, so. Thanks for checking out my uh, video, uh, please don't forget to like, rate, comment and subscribe to Ben's Tech Tips for more computer videos.